Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. And when Rubens Barrichello and co aren't tearing up the tarmac, it's a quiet and peaceful place to be. Or maybe not. Welcome to a new form of motorsport. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the ultimate Japanese import. This is Drift Club. And the first rule of Drift Club is to get your car sideways for as long as possible. The Japanese kicked it off in the late 80s. Rear-wheel drive performance cars were cheap and drifters would gather on deserted mountain roads, lighting up the rear tyres, sending them spinning through a series of bends. All highly illegal. But as meets grew, the police caught on and the drivers had to find legal venues. And so drifting became formalised as a sport with spectators, judges, and now it's come right here to the UK at Silverstone. Where today it's host to 30 drivers. They're all competing to win the prize for the perfect slide. Rules are simpler than a premiership footballer. Just get it sideways for as long as possible. The longer the slide, the more points you get. Simple. To be in with a shout, drivers will have to hit as much as 100 miles an hour. A favourite car for drifting is Nissan's 200SX. You could pick one up for under £2,000. They're rear-wheel drive and they've got very even weight distribution front to back. And this one's got 400 horsepower, over double the standard car. Now, Kiki, 400 brake horsepower, that's the same as a Ferrari 360 Modena. What on earth have you done to it? Ooh, quite a lot of things. I think pretty much rebuild the whole thing, really. Start, let's start with the engine. What have you done to that? Just have all the new internal, just piston, conrod, crankshaft, just make it as strong as possible for 1.8 engine. Now, I noticed the bonnet is carbon fibre. Have you been trying to increase the power-to-weight ratio? Uh, we try to reduce the weight as much as possible, but still, the car is too heavy, it's about 1,100 kilo, but we want to reduce more than that. How much did the whole thing cost? I think it's about the same price of a second-hand Porsche 993. Really? Yes. I mean, has it all been worth it? It's never worth it, really. It's not worth <laughs> it. But, but, that was the right but, answer. But we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We, we have something nobody has. And to show exactly what he means, Kiki is taking me out on the track to demonstrate the drifting technique that's known as the race drift. With a rear-wheel drive car, you turn fast into the corner and lift off the accelerator, unbalancing the car into oversteer. That's beautiful. Keeping the slide going requires gentle bursts of the throttle, and as Kiki expertly demonstrates, you've got to be a bit of a dab hand on the steering wheel. Wow, that's a, that is a talent you've got there, Kiki, a talent. No, that was lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, all this is to impress the panel of judges. I recognise him. The 30 cars were narrowed down during the course of the day, some more dramatically than others. The winning drift was this one, supplied by Brett Castle and his Nissan. So there you have it then, more action than you can shake a stick at. And all in road legal cars that us mere mortals can afford. So whilst drifting is currently on the fringes of motorsport, it could just be the next big thing.